Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, this is Andrew, and with me is uh, DB0 as always. And we're gonna have a game between uh, Arbelikov and Evelyn Natsa. Uh, this is elementary stage. Uh, how uh, how far are they now? Uh, I believe this is the third Swiss round for them, if I remember Swiss correctly. I have to check. Uh, if you want, you can take a quick look on the uh, thing. Is that second or third? Um, yeah, we have one part of our traditional duel. We have Wayland mm -hmm. on the corp side for uh, Arbelkov, and Elanatzer is playing the noise deck. We I think we've seen I've seen him before, so we we've, we've had uh, one game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, decent start. An A subs in the starting hand with a data sucker, deja vu there, and a Crypsis, so it's good. Yeah, the corporation only has one nice, but he has a snare and nothing scary, so he can easily protect his uh, HQ or even leave uh, R&D open and just take some money. Uh, with, with a snare in my hand, I, I'd leave HQ open, you never know. They might get something interesting. Yeah, but still, that, that uh, melance is uh, important. And and the uh, corporate troubleshooter, so he would like to keep both of them, but uh, I mean, it's... okay. He's just gonna risk it. <laughs> He's hoping he draws a snare, and that's gonna hurt him a lot, so... Yeah. So in this game, I'll probably not be speaking a lot. I'll leave the bulk of the duty to... Uh, uh, to Andrew. Yes, I'll be very noisy about this. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is the advantage of living on my own. I can be very noisy at this kind of uh, time. Yeah, and we see the corporate troubleshooter, and I think he's gonna trash it, and it's good because, I mean, you want that card, but it's gonna waste some money along the way, so... Yeah. Now if he gets the snare, it's not gonna be very pretty. Let's see? Oh, he gets the melange. <laughs> Ouch. That hurt. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, with the beanstalks there, he, he's pretty oh, safe. Oh, and no. Okay, now oh, he will. Holy He's getting very greedy. Now all the corporate needs is uh, Scorster, thank you, one. Yeah, Scorster just wins in the game. Yeah, so we're going to see the corporation definitely draw two cards now. Yeah, and there were some good cards in that starting hand, so he did keep, he did, uh, uh, he, he, he has the Aesop's uh, or, uh, pawn shop that's still out there, so. That's uh, still a good card that he needs, but we'll see how this goes. Okay. The trash card by the um, data sucker was another melange, so a lot of economic cards went. Mm -hmm. But let's see. Let's see if he's lucky enough. If he's going to pull that, oh, one more yeah, chance. He's still looking for it. Yeah, one last card. Uh, and no, okay. Yeah, this it does still slow down the runner by quite a lot. So it's like this is going to hurt, which is good if you can slow down slow down noise a bit. Mm, true. He's probably going to defend HQ though. Yeah, depends. Why bother? <laughs> um, probably don't want him to get uh, data cycle tokens until tomorrow. That, that is true. But the thing is, uh, I, I was thinking that I, I know like how uh, Elon Answer was playing, and uh, he, he, he will. Tr I'm guessing he will trash that data sucker. He'll just put the ASOPs down and trash the data sucker. He's very lucky he didn't hit the ASOPs. The ASOPs would have been. Very, very bad. Yeah, very true. And I think now he's going to install it. Yep. Like, he played a very. He played like this last time we saw him play too. So it's. Uh, it's one of his favorite strategies. He trashes his data suckers that are really cheap with the subs, and then he just deja vu's them because he he cares about the, the destruction he brings on uh, R and D mostly, not like. The actual usage of the DSM. Uh, why at this moment I would go put down the ice and the agenda 
and play my hedge fund and then start scoring immediately. That was the uh, corporation. Yeah, yeah, probably a good idea. Uh, three pointer, if you can get that score, that's good, especially with Wayland. Problem is, there's no uh, there's no ice to this with it right now, but uh, that's. You're going, to, you're going to get something. You can't advance it and score it next turn, so you can prepare it next turn and have some ice. Yeah, yeah. If you draw, if you draw something next turn, you do it then. If not, just score it three times, and if you get something, then just put it. So it's it's good. Yeah. If not, you have those uh, three points, and that's good enough. Yeah. Problem is that uh, the wall of ice is very vulnerable to parasites and stuff. So if your runner runs on that card, sees the wall of ice, and again go like, okay, parasite run again. So probably that's why uh, the corpo didn't do it. Oh, yeah, know. but the thing is right now, yeah, right now he doesn't have any cards in his hand now. He just started drawing, so he, he knows he has some leeway there, so. Yeah. See, okay, <laughs> not not awesome cards. The the cyber feeder is going to pay off because you just install viruses a lot cheaper. Mm. And he got another data sucker, which he likes. Yeah. Let's see if this is going to pay off. I don't know if he. Uh, I don't know if uh, Olanatsu will actually care about. Oh, he does. He's yes. gonna make it run. But, yeah. That's why I think he should play. He's the... playing mind games. He's, yeah, he's trying to suggest that there's a that he has a parasite. A parasite now doesn't do anything anyway. He would need to install the data server too, and it's yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, it doesn't I, do anything. I would have. Um... Okay, if that thing goes down, no, it didn't. Uh, but yeah, it's probably going to be that he's going to score that uh, that agenda now that he has the opportunity. Even if he doesn't have any good eyes, yeah, it's still good. Yeah, and we're seeing some more ways to tap. We're seeing a Ghost Branch and a Data Raven in our Bell Club's hand. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tense mm -hmm. because I mean the court got three points and the runners slow down a lot and uh, yeah it's uh, it's gonna be interesting mm -hmm. so then I'm speaking up steam let's see if it's going to be enough <laughs> yeah okay so all the melanges are out of the game the <laughs> virus is trashed to melanges so <laughs> yeah I actually think that the corp is in a really good position right now. Why is he targeting? Probably they're exactly where they want to be. Oh, he they got rid of some really nasty cards. Oh, that team is going to probably get thrust. Now, if I was there, uh, yeah. second agenda, straight up. Yeah, you can also put the data raven down just to just as care tactics. Yeah. Would you put the data raven? He won't remote? be able to raise it, but to... yeah, yeah. If he wants to scare the runner off, you can scare it. Why not? Put it down. Pay the agenda. Take yeah, the yeah, he can't. He can't score it. He, yeah, he can't score it and raise it at the same time. So true, but uh... actually, yeah. Uh, he can. No, no, he can't. No, sorry. But uh, we still play the data raven. No, he wants the advancement. He wants the uh, to search for stuff. Okay, let's see if it pays off. Yeah, well, he, if he searches for uh, scorch search, it's going to be really painful with like the data raven there and with the ghost branch. So it's uh, he has a good chance of uh, hitting hard, especially now because if he puts that, if he scores this, and he gets that ghost branch in, uh, the runner has to run it because if it's another project atlas, he loses the game. So. Okay. So. That server is probably safe now. Yeah, it's a it's it's a, it's a very good play, and I I'm certain it will pay off by the corp. It's a, I, I like his deck, and it seems to be working quite well too. What that uh, Elon answer got got greedy, and he paid for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Very fast advancing from the Wayland. 
Yeah, there, there is one agenda in Archives, but it's a posted bounty, so nothing huge. And he does have the money now, he has a uh, Beanstalk uh, royalties, and yes, st stuff can happen. Yeah, the data suckers go in, so he's, he's gonna play him. He's really I'm fine. thinking he should probably play the cyber feeder before them, because he gets them both for yeah, free. He cause, does, yeah. No, he does, he's in a rush. He's in a rush now. He's afraid that he's going to lose. He wants to get as many points as possible. Yeah, that is true. And he's getting... Uh, he was getting one before I checked, and now let's see if he's getting any more. That's the one. And I think that's the only one. Oh, 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 oh three-pointer in there. Yeah, yeah. He got the one. Uh, it, was, it wasn't there. It was one of the data suckers there in there. That's the problem when they put him in. the runner gets a bit uh, lucky. He can get points out of nothing. Now the corp really needs to do something about the archives because uh, all the runner is going to do is just trust stuff until he wins. Yeah, well, the, he, he can put a. Um, uh, he can't play. Can he play a sea source now? He cannot play a sea source. He can. Uh, how much money does Aran have so far? So if he plays sea source, he needs three plus two five. So he needs four credits. He won't have enough for scorched earth afterwards. If he had two more credits, he would have yeah. done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to go on archives, obviously, and. I think I would have put the shadow. Yeah, draw credits. Yeah, I was thinking about that too, but uh, the Day Raven helps him a lot more because he can just go for the Scorched Earth, possibly the double Scorched Earth. The problem is so. that as soon as the runner uh, runs Archive, is probably going to be the last run. Yeah, but right now, the good thing is, um, Evelancer doesn't have any viruses, and if he's going to search for them with Jin, which is what he does, that's going to take a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's going to go for R&D instead, I think. Yeah. But he still doesn't have, like, the t tokens yet, so... Yeah, that's why I said the it's shadow, still for a while. The shadow uh, on the archives would have been because he would have put the data raven on R&D. Well, he can still put the data raven, and as long as he wins that trace, that's really important. Yeah, but... Uh, data raven's better, but not... As yeah. data raven is going to be used only once. In archives. Yeah, just just for the record, that that was a funny order because because if he would have installed the cyber feeder first, he would have been he would have had one credit more. Hmm. Okay. Just, just going to go for, okay. the, for the quick victory. Yeah, well, he can do it. He yeah. does the he scores it this turn and then he scores another one next turn and that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, smart play there. Although I would probably maybe have a, uh, secured my R and a bit more. Did he shuffle? Well, yeah, he, he can't. Yeah. Well, he, he can't get through now anyway. Yeah. No, he can't. Unless he, he if goes he, on. If he pays, if he destroys everything, if he uh, destroys the data cycle, does he have enough money? Okay, if he doesn't enough win this turn. Uh, yeah, if he doesn't win this turn, he has to lose this turn. So he's going to go all in with whatever he can. Yeah. He's going to trust. And he has to know. He has to know. But it's, it's he's not in good position. He has one credit left. Eh, mm -hmm. it's hard. He can get a lot, a lot of viruses in, but uh, yeah, he needs to. The data suckers are all in the discard pile, so he can't get them with Jin. So he needs to get parasites. Get mm -hmm. two parasites and install them, and then run. No, no, he's just... he doesn't. He can't afford it. Yeah. He he needs to get one parasite and go in. I mean, he knows he he will lose the game otherwise. There's no reason the corporation not to raise this uh, data raven. Yeah, definitely. The runner is kind of desperate here. He's going to take the time. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is being caught between a rock and a hard place. So mm -hmm. the uh, corporation completely yeah. out uh, sped him. That uh, three points at the start really put the pressure on. 
Okay. Let's see. Is it an agenda? No, no, it's a sea source. Oh, there was some problem revealing it's a sea source now. Yeah, no, this was the last game, but I think uh, our Belkov played a really good game, so yeah, I think fast. you earned this one. Very fast, very fast, very well played. Well, and that's it, played the pretty risky game, which is similar to what I did, but it was like, yeah. yeah that, he got greedy, like you said, and <laughs> that's what happens when you get greedy. Yeah. He did get four points, so that's something. Yeah, it's not bad, definitely not bad, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. Do you think Arbelukov is playing Primal? Have you seen him play? Um, no, he's playing... Uh, Arbelukov is playing... I don't remember now. I think uh, he's playing uh, Anar. Or Saber, Saber, I think. And... Uh, okay. And uh, Natur is playing Zipteki. Okay. That would be interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, finally we're seeing less criminal Wayland combos. Yeah. So this is an interesting situation here. Well, how can he actually get a run into R&D? He can't anymore. Yeah, he is done, yeah. Yeah, it's over. Could he, if he had token tier credits, he would have been at 6. How much if he ran R&D? Could the... Uh... But it's over. Yeah, no, it, yeah, now it's over. He's gonna get that last authentic over. <laughs> yeah, just for the fun of it. Uh, scores or a win normally. What is a better idea? I think he's gonna play Scorch just to be mean about it. <laughs> I would. <laughs> and uh, now he's just twisting it. <laughs> choices, choices. <laughs> ah, he's going for, for the agenda victory for some reason. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that, that, that was a quick one too. <laughs> Last game, yeah. lots of agenda. If he actually had scored that Atlas uh, without advancements, the runner would have been in a really good position, but uh, those advancements actually won the game. Yeah, no, he, he had a good plan. He, yeah, he... Uh, That's the you problem. You kind of guess why he got uh, this uh, advance in the... That's the problem. In the game, the, so... Uh, with noise, if he doesn't get his scripts first, then uh, he cannot run then uh, he has a really big problem. Uh, he did have his scripts, his only problem is it uh, got destroyed due to... Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. ...that snare triggering off. Where he was very good. So yeah, that's why... Uh, yeah, and it's... Crypts is really expensive, so it's really hard to... ...install it first. It really slows you down in the beginning if you install it. 